Hello everybody, this is Renee from Arthur Marie Livermore. Now, normally you guys get to see me out on the dance floor, whether that's visiting your lessons, doing performances, or even doing the cool new teaching videos that we have online. But today, however, I'm gonna get to show you something a little different, which is gonna be how to do tie knots. The reason I think this is so important is because your dance outfit should look just as good as your dance moves. And I know that you guys have some killer moves out there. I figured I'd start us off with the Windsor. Notice I didn't say half Windsor. Full Windsor. This is because it's gonna be much more symmetrical, it's gonna look nice and triangular, and you're gonna look fantastic no matter where you go. Let's get started. Okay, two quick things before we get started with the tie knot. First, make sure that your thick side is gonna be on your left hand side, and your thin side is gonna be on the right side. Second, also make sure that your thick side is gonna be longer than your thin side. You're gonna be using this side a whole lot more for the actual tie knot. Your thin side's gonna be hanging down in the middle for most of this process. All right, I think we're ready to get started. Step one, go ahead and take your thick side and bring it over across your thin side. Once you do that, go ahead and just loop it on top, pull it through and leave it hanging nice, just like that. If you notice, you're showing still the front side and it's gonna be hanging on the right side of your body right now. Step two, go ahead and take that same thick side and you're gonna pull underneath this time, yes? Bring it all the way across, just so it's here. If you notice now the inside part of the tie is showing, now I'm gonna go ahead and take that same side and just put it over the loop right here. And it should be hanging out on the left part of my body now. Quick side note, if you guys notice, there should be a triangle happening right about here. This is the base of your, your tie knot and this is why I love the Windsor because it's nice and symmetrical. Step three, go ahead and take this thick side and you're gonna go ahead and bring it over the top. Now, make sure that you have a finger underneath. We don't wanna make this one too tight. You're actually gonna bring your tie through there in just a second. Once it's across, take it under and go ahead and bring it underneath right here. If you notice the inside part of your tie should be showing at that point. Step four, see the little hole that we created here with that finger? You're gonna take your tie and you're just gonna go ahead and loop it on through that hole right there. All right, you guys, you're almost done. All you have to do now is tighten up your knot. Make sure that as you do that, as you pull this top part, squeeze just the bottom part of the knot. Don't squeeze the top, because otherwise it'll get rectangular. Squeeze the bottom part, and as you tighten on through, it should make that triangle shape that we talked about earlier. Now, just as you tighten up to your neck, you should see now that we have a nice, clean triangle. If we're lucky, we even have a dimple here in the middle. And there you have it, everybody. There is your Windsor knot. I hope that you had fun doing this. I hope that it was easy. This is a tie that you're gonna be able to use pretty much anywhere, but if you ever wanna step up your game, all you have to do is ask.